Hello again, this is Akoto Derek from ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com and what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of go over some different magazines, mainly the high cap magazines and low cap magazines and kind of give you a kind of give you a dip, uh, show you the differences and also explain how to load them and how their function works in your gun. Um, there's an MP5 magazine right here from the PK P5K. Uh, it's a spring cock gun. This is the um, M83 from Double Eagle. Uh, very similar to the uh, A and K M4S magazine. This is the just a standard M4 high cap magazine. Um, this is the um, Thompson uh, magazine, and this is the A AGM. Uh, STG 44 magazine. I also have over here in this pouch I have a Thompson drum that I'm going to explain also. Okay I'm going to try to get this done quickly it looks like my battery's uh, running out on the on the video because I've already taken some videos today. Okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, some BBs in a container. This one says it has 500. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to take the lid entirely off, okay? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour. Because in a high cap magazine, um, like my Thompson magazine, there are trap doors. You have a door that you open to fill it up with BBs. You do not see a BB right there yet, okay? So let me fill this thing up. It should be like four something, so we'll see. Uh, being careful not to get BBs all over my field out here. Except I just did. Okay, this might be a better way to do it. Notice how there's like a ton of BBs went in there and I'm still loading. Okay, looking in the chamber, you can see that the BBs are filled up. Now, I'm not going to close this. I'm going to leave it open. What I'm doing, no, I'm not going to close it just so I can show you this other piece of it. The bottom side has a winding wheel, okay, this wheel. What it does is it feeds BBs up into the chamber that actually the spring pushes it up against the weapon. So, you can see where the BBs are. And as I wind, you can kind of see the BBs are going deeper and deeper into the magazine. Okay, you can see that a BB has loaded up to the top of the magazine. I'm going to continue to wind to tighten it up. And you can kind of see that the BBs are dropping down into the magazine. And then I'm going to take the rest of my BBs here, and I'm going to fill it up. Okay, that might be just a few too many, but let's wind it and see if it goes down. Notice how they're dropping. Notice how they're going down. Because what they're doing is they're feeding into here. Okay, that's still probably a few too many. I'm going to empty it out a couple so that my trap door will close. That is a full Thompson magazine. Now, the same thing happens on an M4. You open the door, you fill it up, you close it, you wind the wheel. Okay. Same on an AGM. Uh, this has a trap door hidden, hidden away underneath there. You fill it up, close it up, you wind it up. Now, what's special on the AGM is it has the butterfly wheel. You can actually spin your wheel here by turning this. It's a lot faster. Okay, uh, let's go to low cap magazine. This is the M83 by Double Eagle. It doesn't have a trap door. You can see the difference between these magazines. This one has the trap door, this one does not. This one has a winding wheel, this one does not. Okay, it just has a normal chamber with a spring. So you feed the mag, you feed the, you get a speed loader, which I've already loaded. You fill it with BBs here. This should hold like a hundred rounds. You take 
you line it up and you pump these in and it pumps out like four at a time okay so I pump these in until it says that it doesn't want any more like right now okay so now you have a full magazine and there's no winding nothing like that in the field you could just have a bunch of these in your ammo pouches so that when you shoot it up you just pull another one out and reload it that's the advantages of low caps the high caps throughout the game you're constantly feeding it because once the spring feeds these BBs up you're done until you wind it up again so you got to keep winding them same thing with the drum the drum has a trap door you fill it in right there close the drawer and you wind them up they pop up to the top okay well I'm gonna show you on the drum this this is the same for every magazine it has a catch right there that prevents the BBs from flying out. Okay, when you put the magazine into the weapon, this catch is moved to the side. Okay, you can you can manually move it, but the gun actually moves this to the side. What it does is it tends to throw a couple of BBs up into the feeding chamber, which is about two or three BBs. So you have the rest of the BBs in here, two or three BBs into the feeding chamber, and then when you fire it, psh, another one pops up because the chamber's open right here. The, the magazine's open. Um, so when you pull your magazine out, two or three BBs are always going to fall out because those are the two that were in the chamber. Um, okay, there's also this type of a magazine which has a spring catch on it. Okay, you got to lower the spring. Using a speed loader, you can speed it up let the spring push it up against the top. It also has a catch that releases, releases the BBs. Every one of these should have some kind of catch that releases your BBs. What I do at the end of a game is I will take my BBs and I will put them in a container. I'll empty my magazine so that the springs aren't constantly compressed. Let's empty this magazine out here, and then we will call it a day. It's a little tricky now, but you can kind of watch. Okay, almost. Okay, that's the, that's. That way, your spring is not constantly being under compression. If you leave your BBs, if you leave your magazines full, your magazines are going to wear out over time. I recommend emptying them out after every game, filling them up right before the game. Hopefully, that helped you out with understanding uh, magazines, high cap versus low cap magazines, and we're going to. And thank you for coming out and checking out this video. It's really those that have never really loaded a magazine before, what have you. Peace.